In this tutorial, we are going to tackle a simple JavaScript tip, how to delete an element from an array. Welcome to another tutorial from All Things JavaScript, where we help bridge the gap between novice and expert. The reason we need to talk about deleting elements from an array is that it sometimes is done in a manner that leaves unintended results. Now, it is pretty easy to remove an element from the back or front of an array using pop or shift. But what if you want to remove an element in the middle? If this is done with the delete command, you may not like what you get. It is not necessarily wrong to use the delete command, but you need to understand what it does. I've covered delete in detail in a previous tutorial, which I will link to. But let's first take a look at that method and then another approach for deleting an element. So you may be familiar with delete and that delete is specifically for removing properties on an object, not for deleting other things. A common mistake made by new users of JavaScript is to try to delete other things, such as a variable. For example, if we had a variable set up here, and then we tried to delete that variable, in strict mode, we're using strict mode here, it will give us an error. If we didn't have strict mode on, it wouldn't give us an error, but it wouldn't delete it either. Nothing would happen. So for example, here's the error that we get in strict mode. Delete of an unqualified identifier in strict mode is basically what it tells us. So it doesn't allow us to do that. Now, we don't receive an error if we use delete on an array. Let's take a look at that. Let me set up an array here. Now, if we try to delete, say, the third element, we can do it like this. We specify the array and then the position. Index 2 for the third element. Now, if we go ahead and save that and take a look at what happens, we don't get the error, like I said, and it deletes the element. But notice what our array looks like we now have an empty element. This is called a sparse array. So it did remove the value in a way and left it empty. Now, I don't particularly like this approach to removing an element from an array. And the reason is I like to be deliberate about my values. This is not something that I like to see or means anything. If I want to leave the length of the array, see the array length did not change. It's still five because the element is simply empty. If I want to leave the length the same, but I want to remove the value, then I would replace it with a null. I want to be deliberate about that value. So I would do something like this. Now, if we look at that array, we see there is a null value in there. Null to me means nothing, but it's something I assigned. So I assigned nothing to it, where undefined is something I like to keep as being assigned by JavaScript itself, not by me. And then empty is really not either one of those. But like I said, I like to be more deliberate. And so that's why I don't like using the delete for removing an element from an array. So let's look at a different way of doing this. And the other way, or the better way, is using splice. Now splice sounds very similar to slice, but they are very different when acting on arrays. And I have a tutorial on both of those that I'll link to. But splice allows you to remove elements from array. It also allows you to add elements to an array. It does both things. So I think it's a command that's not understood very well because it does more than one thing. 
but splice is what I would use to remove an element from the middle of the array. So let's do the same thing again. Let's remove that third element, but let's do it with splice. So the way we specify splice is that we first indicate the index position we want to start at. And so that's a two. And then we indicate how many elements we want to remove. And that's a one because we just want to remove one element. Now what this will return is the element or elements that were removed. That's what it's going to return in the form of an array. But it will also leave this array without that element. So let's take a look at that. So now if we do the length property, we can see it's now four. And if we look at that array, we can see that that element is now gone. Now, as you can see, splice mutates or changes the array you're working on. And if you're good with that, if that's what you want, that's fine. But if you want to remove an element but not change the original array, not mutate it, which is a very important principle in functional programming, you could clone the array and remove the element to make that happen. In order to do that, we would need to set up a function. So let me just show you that really quick before we end here. So I'm going to call this remove element. That's what we're going to call this function. And we're going to pass an array. And an index of what we want to remove. Now, in order to keep from mutating this array, even if it's passed into a new variable here, it's passed by reference in JavaScript. And so if we were to change it, it would mutate this array. So in order to prevent that from happening, we first need to clone it. And I have some tutorials on cloning objects. But a really quick way to clone an array is using a spread operator like this. So basically what it's going to do is the spread operator takes this array, what it is ever passed in, and it spreads out all the elements. And it spreads them all out inside of square brackets. Therefore, it creates a new array and assigns it to this variable. So once we have that new array, then we can just do the splice. And splice the index and remove just one. And then finally, return new array. So that will allow us to modify the array without mutating the original array. It will give us a new array in return. So let's just take a look at that really quick. So let new array equal remove element. And we're going to pass in an array, in this case, Ari. And we're going to pass in an index that we want to remove, in this case, two. And let's see what we get. So if we take a look at the original array, it still has everything. If we take a look at our new array, it has the element removed that we wanted to remove. So that would be a way to do it without mutating the existing array, is by creating a function like this. Now, before we're done here, please hit the like button. It can help others find this tutorial. And if you want to dive deeply into JavaScript, I provided discount links to all my courses in the description section. If you haven't subscribed yet, you can hit that subscribe button or click the circle link on the left, one with my face. I release a new tutorial each week. You can also click the video link in the center to access another tutorial right away or click the link on the right to visit my website, allthingsjavascript.com for a complete list of tutorials and other resources. Thanks for watching.